Unité 5, niveau 3-4, page 491. So, this part is found at the back of the book. We are learning the future tense of regular verbs, and then we will learn the conditional tense. And in your textbook, they're split between chapter 5 and chapter 6, but most people learn them together, and the reason is because they share the same stems, and they're formed the same way. The only difference is the ending is slightly different. So the meaning of future is will. So if I attach the future ending to a future stem, I'm changing the verb from whatever the verb is. In this case, we have trube to find or to give an opinion, and we're changing it to you will do something. So future tense means you will do something. Now, if you study conditional tense, that will be would. So will is certainty, you, your will to do something, you want to do it, but conditional is hypothetical. It is unsure. If you give a conditional answer, it's equivalent to maybe. You would do something, but maybe all these other things prevent you from doing it. Okay, now how do you form these? Now if the verb is regular, right, then all you have to do is put the ending at the end of the infinitive. So it's very simple. Here we write out the full form truve, keeping the ER on, and then you put your ending on, which makes it the will part. Je trouverai. So I will find. Okay? Or I will give an opinion. So if you notice the endings AI, AS, A, ONS, EZ, ONT, okay, what verb does that remind you of? The verb avoir. So the only difference is the ONS and EZ, you don't have an A, you don't have an AV ONS or an AV EZ. But the rest of the conjugation is the verb avoir. But it doesn't give any meaning like that. The meaning is will. So je trouverai toutes les réponses. I will find all the answers. Où trouveras-tu un appartement? Where will you find an apartment? On trouvera beaucoup d'outils de recherche, right? One will find lots of t research tools or search engines. Qu'est-ce que nous trouverons? What will we find? Or, in other words, what will we think? What's our opinion? Vous trouverez une liste d'adresses. You will find a list of addresses. Elles ne trouveront rien. They will find nothing. Now I'm going to switch over to the conditional, which is on the same page at the top, so I'm scrolling way at the top, to talk about the conditional. Now we said that future means will, then conditional means would. And again, you're doing regular verb, you use the whole infinitive, here we have jue, keep the R on. Now the ending for the conditional, to put the would to the meaning, is to add AIS, AIS, AIT, and then we have IONS, IEZ, AIENT. Now if these endings look familiar, and hopefully they do, these are the same endings that are used in the imperfect. So basically, you have endings memorized already. You already knew the verb avoir, so you can do the future very easily. You have already learned the imperfect, so you already know these endings from the imperfect. Now you're going to use them for the conditional. Okay? Now, of course, there's always a glitch to this and that there are irregular verbs. But remember, most verbs that are irregular in present tense will be irregular in most other tenses. So let's look at the irregular ones, okay? Now, the textbook 
gave the stems, but I'm going to put a little post-it here. Just keep in mind that these irregular stems are the same stems for the future. So you're not memorizing more things. You're memorizing one stem, and when you make it conditional, you put a conditional stem on. All right? So for example, if I do the verb ale here, and I say I would go, okay, then I'm going to say jir ray, and I have A-I-S. I would go. Now, if I want to say will go, then I just type this, jire, and I don't put the S on because the future ending doesn't have the S on. So that's how it would be. Now they sound the same, jire and jire, so you have to listen for it in context. If you just heard jire au cafe by itself, you won't know if the person says will or would. The only thing you know is it hasn't happened yet. Okay, so what are the stems? All right, keeping in mind they're the same for future and conditional. Okay, well, ale goes to ear, all right, and then this hyphen means that a stem would go in the end. Saswar to sit goes to asier something. Avoir goes to or. Courir to cour with two R's, all right? And if you notice, all these stems end in an R. That's very important. If you come up with something that doesn't end in an R, you're doing something wrong. Okay, although some have a double R, so you have to be careful of those. Devoir goes to dev. Envoyer to send goes to enver. Etre goes to ser. And if you study Spanish, you'll know that the verb ser means to be. Fair goes to fair, but a different spelling, er. Faloir has only one form, correct? Il faut, so the future, il, it would be necessary, or it would be necessary, or will, is fod, so il faudra. To die, mur, has two R's, and pleuvoir, the verb to rain, also has only one form. So il pleut in present tense, but il pleuvra in future, and il pleuvrait in conditional. Pouvoir, to be able, is pour with double R. Recevoir, receive. Savoir, to know a fact, so will know would be sore. Valoir, similar to faloir, and although it can be conjugated with other, other forms, it normally is not. It means it is worth, so il vaudra or il vaudrait. Venir goes to viendre, voir goes to ver, and again, a double R. But I remember this one because ver, V-E-R-R-E, -E, is a glass, and you can see through a glass. And vouloir goes to voudre, and this one should ring a bell, because in French one, you learn je voudrais une limonade. I would like a lemonade. So this is the polite way to say that you would want something, and je voudra, I will want something.